to apply for any scholarship all over the world your statement of purpose or study plan and your research proposal is an important document when universities will start to evaluate your document initially your study plan and research proposal will be highly considered hello everyone i'm sajid i am a research scholar in china today in this video i want to discuss and tell you how can you write a study plan or statement of purpose when you are applying for scholarships all over the world specifically when you are applying for csc scholarship in china in this video i will discuss what kind of format should be like your study plan and i'm also going to share a sample of study plan so it will be helpful for you when, while you are writing your study plan for scholarships and i will also like give you this study plan sample study plan in the description of this video you can just copy and use while when you are writing your study plan or statement of purpose so now we can jump to my screen and there we can see how to write a study plan so first of all i'm going to talk about what is a study plan a study plan also known as a research plan or statement of purpose is a written proposal of your academic and research objectives it is a crucial component for your application used by the admission committee and potential supervisor to evaluate your intellectual maturity research aptitude and the feasibility of your research project unlikely a personal statement that focuses on your life story a study plan is forward looking and focuses on what you intended to accomplish during your study so you have to differentiate what is like study plan and what is personal statement there is a slight difference between personal statement and study plan so what should be the like key components of an effective study plan the first one is like introduction your purpose you should clearly state the purpose of your plan mention the specific degree you are applying for example if you are applying for masters or phd you have to mention and your intended field of study and in which field you are going to apply and what uh, what should be the hook like briefly introduce your research interest and how it motivates you to pursue this program you have to tell them how it motivates you to pursue this program and the second part of your study plan should be academic background summary and achievements briefly describe your like educational background include including your previous degree academic projects and relevant coursework and relevant skills highlight any skills or knowledge you are gain that are relevant to your proposed study and such as the research methodol methods data analysis or laboratory techniques so you have to mention some skills the program which you are going to apply for your masters or phd if previously you have learned some skills or some methods or you know some techniques so you have to mention in this academic background section and the section 3 of your study plan should be like research objectives and method methodology which is really important part because supervisors when they are going to evaluate your study plan they are interested in your research work because you are applying for masters and phd you said like a uh, research degree so what kind of sections you should mention like the problem what is the problem why you want to study or why you want to propose this study so clearly state the research problem or question you intended to address this is the most important section and your goals outline your specific research objectives what do you hope to achieve what you want to achieve you have to state it and proposed approach describe the methodology you plan to use to answer your research questions 
and this could include theor theories, models, and data collection methods. This show you have through critical about how to approach your studies. So this is about your research objectives and methodology. And in the fourth section, you can like be rational for choosing China and the specific university or professor. Like if you are applying for China, it could be any country. But here I took an example as a China. If you are applying for China or a specific university, for example, the Tsinghua University, Wuhan University, any university you are going to apply or you want to mention any specific professor because maybe previously you have like on or uh, already communication with any professor if you want to mention him so you have to clear uh, like state clearly and your approach should be rational why china why their specific university and why their specific professor so why china explain why you believe studying in china is the right choice for you and mention its academic reputation, technological advancement, or cultural richness in the way that is relevant to your field. And why this university? Be specific. Be specific. Explain why the university's department, faculty, and research facilities are the perfect fit for your research goals. Mention the specific professor you want to work with and how their work align with your own interest so if you have communication with any other professor any professor you have to mention and you have to specifically write why this professor why this university in this section for you can explain about why you choose this university this country and this professor for your postgraduate studies and you can also mention your study schedule or timeline because when you are going to apply for masters or phd you already know in this university the time period for like masters is two year or three years or for phd four years five years so you have to clearly how you will break down your time and how you will do your work you can also mention in the end like your time uh, research timeline and in the next section, future career plan, long-term goals. Discuss your career aspiration after completing your degree. How will the knowledge and skill you gain from this scholarship help you achieve these goals? And this demonstrates your commitment to making a tangible impact. It is important part like what is your future plan after completing this degree in this university and in this country you have to mention specifically and when they are going to evaluate your documents your research plan or your study plan they will definitely check and after that like after you will submit your application I will after you forward your research plan study plan to the university there will be interview and in that interview they will definitely ask this question what is your future plan so here what you have mentioned there you also have to speak and maybe you have to evaluate more you have to give them some more detail about that so in the end you just uh, conclude your like study plan briefly summarize your key points and uh, retrieve your enthusiasm for the program and on a strong confident note you can just write a confident note in the end as a conclusion so here are also some tips for writing. Be specific. Avoid generic statement. Avoid general statements. Instead of I want to apply AI, say I want to research the applications of generative adversarial network for solving problem of for data scarcity in medical imaging. So I want to study AI. AI is a really big topic. So you have to be specified then professors will be interested and the professor who you are going to work if you have any communication there his uh, you must read or you must go through his profile then here you have to be specific choose the 
like specific topic for your study and proofread carefully a study plan with grammatical errors or typo can make your seems unprofessional so once you complete your study plan read it carefully more than five times six times and maybe you can forward to your friends who can help you to read this study plan read it multiple times and have someone else check it for you and formal tune use formal and academic language throughout the document and length the typical study plan is between 800 to 1500 words check the specific requirement for the CSC application so it depends to which university which scholarship you are going to apply some universities and some scholarships definitely mention what should be the length of your study plan so you have to write accordingly if there is no specific length it's up to you but must check the details what should be the length of your study plan or your research proposal now i'm going to jump uh there is a one sample i have prepared for you so i'm going to jump that uh sample and we can check how you can write the study plan so on the top you can just write your name date of birth like your country name and the university where you are going to like intended to apply and what should what could be your major there so here as example for example you are applying for china and i selected like intended university the shenghua university and intended major computer sciences and technology so in the introduction i'm going to write like this i'm writing and express my strong interest in pursuing a phd in computer sciences at the Tsinghua university under the chinese government scholarship program you have to study it clearly with a solid academic foundation in machine learning and a passion for advancing artificial intelligence my research objective is to develop innovative deep learning models for addressing challenges in real world data analysis particularly in the field of medical diagnostics so it is just an example i have written here so your topic could be anyone anything and your topic should be specific here we have mention a specific topic we want to and it is really clear we want to do for this application and we want to use ai and machine learning and i'm confident that my phd is a globally leading institute like the Shingo university will provide me with the intellectual environment and resources necessary to make a significant contribution in the field so it could be your introduction more clear more specific and then your academic background and research like experience you can mention your previous university and what you have studied and what was how was your gpa and you can also discuss your undergraduate thesis you can try to align your thesis with your like next institute or maybe with your next professor so you have to give them your uh, overview about your thesis i'm not going to read it by like all these paragraphs but i will copy paste this like sample in the description of this video you just copy it and use it for like when you are preparing study plan for uh, yourself and the next is like research objectives and proposed methodology what will be your objectives and what kind of methodology you are going to follow so here like my research interest is in centered on developing robustic and interpretable deep learning models my proposed doctoral research will focus as the following problem how can we create highly accurate and generalizable deep learning models for medical image segmentation despite the inherent challenges of limited and variable training data so this kind of topic and this is the specific topic so you have to be specific and you should not be like you are you are just using a general terms or general title i'm going to use ai for in the medical field it, it is not going to work for it because it's really big so you have to be specific in your research to address this my research object objectives will be following so you have to mention your objectives how you can like 
what are your what are the objectives and how you can achieve the, the like this research work to conduct a comprehensive literature review this uh, you have to clearly mention I uh, to investigate and develop novel data augmentation techniques and semi supervised learning methods of effectively utilize limited medical data set so these are the specific objectives of your research work and then rational of choosing China and Tishenghua University why you choose China so I have chosen China for my destination for postgraduate studies due to its rapid advancement and immense investment in artificial intelligence and technology the country has emerging as a global hub of innovation with a vibrant research ecology that is second to none so you have to mention why China why the Tsinghua University specifically I'm drawn to the Tsinghua University for its world-renowned computer science department its faculty particularly research of professor if you have communication with any professor here you can mention if you don't have any professor you just uh, state the university why the Tsinghua University no need to discuss about professors if you have discuss if you have communication with professor or if you have acceptance letter you can mention your professor in this section and then study and research schedule what will be the timeline for here i take example as a phd program so it's four year or three year so you have to divide your time accordingly and then what is your future career plan upon completing my phd from tishingwa university i plan to return to like my country and leverage my advanced research skill to contribute to the local technology sector it could be really positive point when you are saying like that I'm re I'm going to return to my home country and I want to serve there and I, I want to learn this kind of like AI techniques in China which is more advanced and I'm going back to my country and carry on my work and I want to uh, do like apply AI technology in the local technology sector so it could be really positive point so you can uh, write your future career plans like this and then in the end you can have a like conclusion I'm highly motivated and fully commitment and embrace uh, embarking on this academic journey the CSC scholarship would not only be a great honor but also a crucial step in achieving my long-term academic and professional goals I'm confident that I have a dedication and intellectual curiosity are required to success the rigorous PhD program and making a valuable contribution to the research community at Tishengwa University. Thank you for considering my application. So in the end you just write some positive statements and conclude your statement of purpose. So this is how you can write a rational and attractive study plan for your life wherever you are going to apply for scholarships so you need to be specific and you need to write a attractive and really rational study plan because there will be initial evaluation of your documents and they will check your study plan or research proposal and next when you are going for the interview they will invite you to the for the interview there they will ask questions only from this study plan so take care of this and I highly suggest you right now you have time if you are applying for Chinese scholarships and if you are applying for any other scholarships take your time and write a specific study plan for like your graduate studies and then go further if you have any questions related to this study plan or maybe any other questions you just go to the comment section of this video and write I will must reply you there and until the next video, take care. Bye-bye. See you.